Hey viewers, welcome to another video of the Casual Pro Gamer. Today we're doing my settings because people have been asking me a bit about the settings. First I'll do the sound ones which are relatively easy. If you want to make a game with XSplit, which is, uh, well, the recording you see every now and then on my channel. I'm not using it at the moment because the quality isn't that good. But when you have a grey screen in the beginning, that's XSplit. It's free. It is uh, pretty decent and you need these sound settings. So set everything to half and this one to just over half. You can also set it to half, but don't set it more than like 75% because if you put it too high, then your voice will not actually be heard anymore. So anyway, that's for the people who want to record their own videos or do whatever. Um, yeah, obviously if you're using uh, Fraps like I am with Camtasia Studio and Audacity, for those of you who want to know. Um, you don't really care because you can modify all the levels afterwards and the quality is a lot better but also it takes up a lot more hard disk space. Maybe For reference uh, an average game takes about uh, 400 megabytes I think for XSplit including everything so that's video, audio, yeah everything and for fraps you need about 2 gigabytes per minute for just the video and then you have the audio and Audacity is pretty small it takes about 200 megabytes for an average game so all in all for the average game it takes you about 75 to 80 uh, gigabytes of uh, hard disk space so that's a big difference with the 400 megabytes that XSplit provides anyway video settings then yeah, so um, my video settings are made to be, uh, well, f so that in team fights you don't get all of the particles. You want to reduce the particles as much as possible. At least that's my opinion. And um, that's why uh, character quality is very low. Uh, it doesn't need to be. The characters, yeah, I can set this to very high and you won't see that much of a difference. Hang on. So this is very high. And um, yeah, Annie will just run around and be, yeah, just Annie. Doesn't really matter. And then if I change that to very low. Um, do -do 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 -do. There you see Annie, and she looks exactly the same. So it really doesn't matter at all. So I'm setting that to very low just because it doesn't matter. Um, the environment quality, yeah, that is a really major one because uh, if you set it to very high, you will get all of these uh, particles in there that kind of mess up the entire scene. Uh, I don't know exactly what happens in the winter map, but I'm guessing these plants and such, which and and you see these uh, this fog, things like that, they don't add anything to the game but they do add something to your vision of the game so let me here and now everything is just flat so that's why I do that um, then the effects quality yeah I like to set them to very low but then they screw up uh, I'll, I'll show you one of the effects that actually screws up if I now uh, recall you will see that I get some uh, some loops around me and I will actually just recall. So if I set it to very low, um, video, effects quality very low. Oh, come on. Back, and now I recall again. Yeah, you see that you only get these two. So they reduce the amount of uh, quality not so much yeah the overall effect and plus I don't know if this is actually affected but we'll see that soon enough yeah you don't get to see I don't know if it's, if it's really visible to you but this was the um, the W here yeah you see there's only very little bit and some of the effects yeah not so much on any but on other characters will completely lose everything because they um, they just take out layers so for example the uh, incinerate here that's about four or five layers stacked on top of each other and they just show you one so it's not that they 
reduce the effect, they just reduce the number of layers that are actually visible. If I set this to very high, then obviously my, um, yeah, I can recall from here as well. Yeah, my number of circles here is a lot better. And also the effect on this is a lot better. But some of the, um, some of the effects will really just block out, which is why I don't set this to very low. I set this to medium. Makes a big difference in the amount of particles that are there, but you still get to see it. In um, StarCraft, you can actually see it be, uh, a lot better because I know there where to what to look for because I experiment a little bit more. But if you use one of the um, what are they called the force fields? Yeah, the force fields from the sentries, they, they become completely invisible because they do the same thing that they do here. They only draw one layer instead of like six layers. And yeah, I don't know why they chose to make like a dark brown layer as the one that you get when you have low quality. Anyhow, this is a different map than you normally use. This is the winter map, so the effects vary between the maps. Um, resolution, yeah, that's set to the uh, highest I have with my screen uh, uh, size. This one is widescreen, I think. Uh, not actually sure. Yeah, my um, I used to have this one, but I don't know. I'm getting a new screen anyway, so... Uh, windowed mode, yeah, I can now record full screen again, but uh, if you're using XSplit, you have to set this to windowed, not borderless, because it will start to flicker. Just pick windowed mode, and um, you should be fine. Uh, 30 FPS, because that is the best one to generate YouTube videos, everything higher than that will just not be usable anyway because YouTube is 30 frames per second so there's no real use to put it any higher I can actually uh, do it at like hundred and twenty something like that um, then vertical sync is for your monitor uh, your monitor has a certain update rate and if you say uh, put uh, wait for s vertical sync on then you will actually get the best quality on your screen fast terrain is really inadvisable by the way so don't turn that on unless you have a really poor well a really not a good computer at all and then here you see the colorblind mode many people have been asking me that um, the colorblind mode is why this is blue instead of green. If I turn it off... And yeah, we have a nice bug here again with the little icon from the shop. Um, anyway, now I have a green one again, but for colorblind people having green health bars and red health bars is not a good thing. So, just to accommodate those uh, accommodate those people uh, I tend to do it like this then interface yeah I really don't want too much on my screen but as you can see I have most of them turned on anyway mana heal I don't care mana damage I don't care and the rest is all turned on um, obviously you don't have to have everything on I just um, yeah yeah whatever I just have everything on have to make sure game that game? Uh, people get to see as much as possible in the actual games that I cast. And once again, yeah, everything is set to very low except for the effects to make sure that I get to see the effects. Because some champions are really, really have horrible um, models for their low level effects. And yeah, we want to see what's going on. So um, yeah, I hope you um, you have all the information you wanted here. And um, yeah, if you don't, then please ask me in the comments or send me a message, and I will give you the other information you want. So anyway, hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time. GG.